why the Indian Ocean has the world's largest gravity hole. There is a mysterious region in the Indian Ocean. It covers an area of 1.2 million square miles. It's been dubbed a gravity hole. In this hole gravity is weaker than elsewhere on the planet. Earth's gravitational pull seems to falter. The gravity hole is technically called a geoid low. The Indian Ocean geoid low, IOGL, is a visible depression in the water. A layer of its water has been snatched away. The sea level over the hole is 348 feet lower than average. The IOGL has puzzled scientists for decades. It was first discovered back in 1948, but it took until 2024 for the puzzle to be solved. The low is a consequence of our surprisingly squidgy planet. Earth is not really a perfect sphere. It flattens at the poles and bulges at the equator. There are plenty of lumps and bumps across its surface. A new study suggests the IOGL was caused by low-density magma. It was pushed into the Indian Ocean by remnants of an ancient seafloor. The researchers used 19 computer models. They simulated the motions of the mantle and tectonic plates. The models spanned 140 million years. Each simulation led to the formation of geoid lows. The researchers compared these with the IOGL. Six of the models came pretty close. They all shared one common feature, plumes of hot low-density magma that rose up from underneath. They displaced the higher-density material beneath the low. This reduced the region's mass and weakened its gravity. These plumes are spurts of mantle rock. They originated from a disturbance 600 miles west under Africa. It's known as the African blob. The blob is a dense bubble of crystallized material inside Africa's mantle. It's the size of a continent and 100 times taller than Mount Everest. But what pushed chunks of this material under the Indian Ocean? The final pieces of the tectonic puzzle are Tethian slabs. Tethys was an ancient ocean on Earth. It existed between the supercontinents, Laurasia and Gondwana. This was more than 200 million years ago. The slabs were chunks of Tethys seafloor. At one point, the Indian plate broke off from Gondwana. It collided with the Eurasian plate. But before it happened, it passed over the Tethys plate. The Tethys plate was subducted, i.e. pushed under the Indian plate. The shattered pieces of Tethys began to slowly sink deeper. They kept sinking down into the lower mantle. For millions of years, around 20 million years ago, the Tethian slabs reached the African blob. They displaced some of its trapped magma to form the plumes. These plumes formed the negative geoid anomaly. Of course, this is just a theory. At this point, no plumes have been discovered yet. But scientists plan to do just that. They'll use earthquake data collected from around the IOGL. But will the geoid low remain there forever? That depends on how these mass anomalies in the Earth move around. Further plate movements might make it disappear. But this would take hundreds of millions of years more 